number five. Manor of Mysteries is a multiplayer horror puzzle game where you explore a manor full of procedurally generated rooms. And with a total of 100 rooms to survive, you'll need to work together or suffer alone to solve the manor. Each room presents a single challenge, a puzzle, an enemy, or a trap. The developer describes the challenge as a trial by fire, where you must overcome each challenge without a lot of handholding. The concept is cool, especially if you have friends willing to explore with you. You can check it out on Steam. By the way guys, if you are working on a first person shooter type game in Gato or are wanting to start one, I'm in the middle of a huge FPS tutorial series here on my channel. I'm covering every step of my process as I create a modern FPS game. And if you prefer written tutorials or just want to download the source files for your own project, you can join my Patreon. And thanks to all of you who are already supporting, every bit of support helps me create tutorials and content like this. Speaking of which, number four. I love covering new plugins because it means more functionality is being introduced to the engine. Enter MetSys, a general purpose toolkit for creating Metroidvania games in Gato. And yes, it's free. After installing the add-in, you'll be able to use the map editor to create and manage map cells, utilize different colors, layers, explore the map viewer where you can click on different rooms to find collectibles. The entire add-on is pretty feature rich. You can group cells, add symbols to mark important locations, create parallel worlds, and set border types like doors, barriers, or passages within your rooms. You can check out the full list of features and how-tos on the GitHub page. Number three. SDG Games showed off their most recent game as part of their 20 games in 30 days challenge. This time, they recreated the classic go-to boredom game for all us 90s kids, 3D Pinball. The interpretation of the original is spot on, and they even carried over the sounds from the original game. You can check out the full source code for yourself for free or the full devlog on their YouTube channel. And if you want to check out the other 12 games they've already completed as part of the challenge, you can head over to their itch.io page. Number two. Striving for Lights is a roguelite action RPG where you utilize an infinitely expanding skill tree to fight through the darkness. The game features a really interesting hand-drawn art style and fully randomized maps. As you level up, you'll gain skills via a randomized skill tree that will continue to expand with your character. In addition to the skill tree is a deep item system with 34 unique weapon bases that you can craft. Combat involves switching between melee and ranged weapons as you strategically use your abilities and dodge skills to beat your enemies. And once you've beaten the main game, a deep end game lets you customize modifiers and face even bigger challenges. Check it out on Steam. And before we get to our number one spot, congrats to last week's winner, Memora Wanderer, earning a place in our 2023 Gato Project of the Year tournament. And don't forget to vote for your favorite in the comments below. And number one. ExoSoul is an adrenaline-fueled top-down shooter that will test your skills and reflexes. Fight for your life against relentless enemies while trying to synchronize your body and soul. You have a powerful arsenal of weapons at your disposal, but you'll need to use them wisely if you want to survive. Each run, you'll find a diverse selection of weapons, but keeping your mind and body in sync is essential to getting bonuses and the edge over your enemies. And if you're defeated, at least your mind lives on, ready for another run. Check it out on Steam.